In this clip, I'll show you how to make a rod puppet who can move and dance. For this project, you need an empty cardboard box, a brown paper bag, a bit of stuffing for this brown paper bag, some colourful card, a couple of wooden skewers, a length of bamboo pole, felt it pen scissors and sticky tape, and if you have it, some tissue paper and scraps of fabric. We'll get the bamboo stick and we're going to make a collar around it by wrapping a piece of scrap paper round and round and round. This is going to stop the box sliding up and down so I'm going to secure it with some sticky tape that goes right round it very very firmly. Wrap it tight round so that it's touching the scrap paper and touching the bamboo then it won't go up and down. Now then this is going to be the body of the puppet so we need to cut a small hole in the top. This is a grown-up's job. Pushing into the top and just making a small hole in there. So the next job is putting the head on. The paper bag is going to become our head. So open it up wide and to make it a good shape put a little bit of stuffing in it. I've just got a bit more paper and that should do the job. Bunch that together. Try to make a flat area that will be the face and then that's going to sit onto the bamboo and again we'll have to put a collar around that of sticky tape wrapped around to make it nice and tight. To make sure it really is the head we'll draw some nice big eyes on it there and there and to do a nose, to draw a nose I do a large number two that looks like a nose and nice big smiling mouth on there. She needs a bit of hair I think to look pretty if she's going to dance so I've got this tissue paper which is shredded and we can put some at this side and tape it on and some at the other side to match. If you've got some hair decorations you could even put your own hair decorations on her hair to make her look extra nice. For the arms I'm just using pieces of ribbon which makes it quite easy. So get the end of the ribbon and tape it onto her shoulders and the other side ribbon, sticky tape and onto the shoulder. And that's secure. Now then, that's the shoulder end, this must be the hand end. So for this you need the little vegetable skewers, some wooden skewers which you can use for food cooking in the kitchen but for us we're using it so that her arms will move around. This puppet, this type of puppet is called a rod puppet and these are the rods that help it to move. So I've got the sticky tape onto the rod and then onto the ribbon and the same at the other side and then she can move and then she can wave at you. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! We'll get a piece of paper and see if we can make you a skirt. That's just wrapping that round your tummy and then she'll be finished and our rod puppet might be able to do a little bit of moving. Sticky tape is a very useful thing to have handy when you're doing jobs like this. I'll leave some of the yellow showing because it's very pretty that. And you might be able to stick a few buttons on or some jewellery or draw your own pattern on the, on the front. I'll just draw some button, buttons going down it and hold her up. And there she is. Hello everybody. I'm called Rowena the Rod Puppet. That, boys and girls, is how to make a rod puppet. It could be any character you wanted. It could be a monster. It could be an animal. It could be one of your friends. You can make it whoever you want it to be.